What is up everyone? My name is Michael Pohl with Bay Area Aquatics and today I'm going to be reviewing this E-Tech City infrared thermometer. So if you guys own an aquarium, one of the important things, especially with tropical aquariums, is the temperature of your aquarium. That's why we run heaters, that's why we run you know, all sorts of stuff to make sure that things aren't freezing over, they're not too cold, they're not too hot, there needs to be a specific temperature range that fish are kept at. Now you're probably using like a little mercury thermometer or one of these little, this is actually attached to a tank, so I'm gonna try and pull it over without pulling it out of the tank. But uh, one of these little like probes, there's a wire that goes into the tank, tells me, you know, this tank's sitting at 77 degrees, which is actually kind of hot for my shrimp. Um, but, you know, that's how they do it. And that's how a lot of people keep track of their measurement. The problem I have with those is those things die like every other week. So I go through probably three or four of those a month. And I've been real adamant about, no, I want a temperature on every tank. That way I can just look at it real quick, make sure the heater hasn't broken, make sure it hasn't been stuck under the on position, make sure it hasn't been broken in the off position, and that my temperatures aren't fluctuating too much. One of the things that I see really common in people that have like a whole fish room or breeding system or anything like that is they go ahead and they pick up one of these infrared thermometer guns. And basically the way these work is they have a little laser pointer on them that's to help you aim and it shoots a little infrared beam. You can see there's two holes here. The little one at the top's the laser, the bottom one's the infrared beam. And it shoots a little infrared beam at whatever I'm trying to take a temperature of. And then it gives you a temperature reading of whatever it was that you took a temperature of. Now this is super handy. One, it's not constantly reading the temperature in your fish tank. Um, I know some people run like temperature probes for their heaters. So they've got another probe running in and they use that little like controller thing to turn the heater on and off or to automatically shut off the heater if it gets too hot or whatever it may be. That's cool too, but it's still nice to be able to see what your other tanks are like. So I can look over and like that thermometer said it was 77. I can aim this at the sponge filter in my shrimp tank and it says it's 77 degrees. Nice and easy. Now I know what temperature my tanks are at. I can sit here and check multiple tanks. One of the other things that I really like about this is I can check multiple tanks without touching any of the tanks water. I don't have to like cross contaminate anything. Um, you know, these thermometers, they fluctuate tremendously. Um, I have some that are like five or six degrees above what the other ones read. I have some that are five or six degrees below. And so you're sitting there and there's like a 10 degree difference in a tank that is technically the same temperature. This is using one tool. I can double check if I'm moving fish tank to tank. I know that this is right. If I'm changing water, I can hit the bucket that the water's in with this gun and I can make sure it's the right temperature or close to it. If I bring new fish home and I'm floating the bag, I can hit the bag with this and see what the temperature of the water in the bag is at. And that way I know whether or not it's time to move the fish into the tank. Another fun little random thing is fish tend to chase lasers. So if I sit here and hit this at my tank, you can see some of the fish are chasing the laser around now, especially the angelfish. The angelfish really likes it. That's a good way to kind of entertain your fish, entertain you, and uh, you know, get a little more involved with your fish while you're checking the temperature. As far as the actual infrared thermometer itself, um, to change the batteries, you just pop the thing open. It takes a single nine volt battery. If I can pull it out without breaking the wires, just like that. It has Celsius, it has Fahrenheit. You can turn the backlight on or off on the screen. You can turn the laser on and off. If you don't want the laser, you can just, you know, point it at something and go. Um, the laser's nice because I find like, oh, I'm aiming it and then I turn the laser on and my laser's like way off on another direction. And so obviously I wasn't aiming it very well. The other reason why I like these is these little thermometers are like $5 a piece online. And if you go to the pet store, they're like 10 or $15 a piece. This is 15 bucks, right? So one thing and I can, in theory, take the temperature of a million and one tanks without cross-contaminating versus three of these that are gonna die on me in like two or three weeks. So, you know, it's just a much easier, much simpler, much cheaper way of checking things and it keeps things universal. The one thing that I hear people complain about, I'm not quite sure why, is the one I bought is the cheap one and it only measures from negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit to 716 degrees Fahrenheit. And when I pointed this out in a fish group, someone pointed me out and said, um, you know, why did you get one that had such a small range? Why didn't you get the more expensive one? Blah, 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 blah. Um, I keep my fish tanks at 78 to 80 degrees. So for me, as long as it measures from like 60 to like 95, I don't really care what the rest of it is, right? It's never gonna be used for anything else. Um, so keep that in mind. A lot of the more expensive ones, 
that's the difference is the temperature range goes a lot higher or a lot lower or whatever it may be. Um, but for basic fundamentals, 15 bucks. This is on Amazon. You can find them at Home Depot. They were like 20 or $30 at Home Depot for the same um, style and same range. Let me know down in the comments below, what's your favorite way of taking temperatures of your tanks? Do you use this one? Do you use another one off of Amazon or Home Depot or wherever else you buy stuff? Um, do you prefer the mercury ones? Do you prefer the digital ones? I know some people like the old school um, just because they trust it more and that, that's fine too. Um, let me know what you guys use. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you like it. If you didn't like it, you know what to do. If you haven't considered subscribing yet, please hit the subscribe button or at least consider it. And when you do, consider hitting that notification button so you get notified every time that I upload. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.